got Leia versus Aiden. Interesting matchup in round seven. Of course, Leia has really strong early momentum. Aiden's an amazing mid game character and leader. But Aiden's actually using the red Aiden, so that's why I was very interested in this matchup. See how red Aiden performs against speedsters, some aggressive decks, especially one of the most aggressive decks like Leia. Also, this Leia is very interesting as well, using an, a red Tankiton as well, dealing 3 damage. Really interesting. Both of them got to th round 7 with Tankiton. I can't believe this. Let's see how this goes. And as you can see, Rebel uh, did the damage, and then we're gonna trade with the Death Storm Trooper. Best idea there. Okay, uh, we misplay there and play the red <laughs> where the ground units are. Immediately responding to it with blue control, power of the dark side is huge there. Getting rid of that red one. Really nice. I then heals the one damage that he took. Uh, or now he's, I think, 2 HP. And we pass. Really nice here to see these guys playing really high level really quickly. Uh, Aiden feels really strong here. He's got the cell blocks. I think as long as he can get a, get a hold of space, he's gonna be fine. Are there any space unit leaders yet? No, I have never seen that before. I've actually very interesting idea. I'm not sure actually if they'll ever do that. Maybe they'll allow a, a ground leader to attack into space, but. But to actually act like a space unit, I don't think so. I think you just lose too much momentum because you uh, don't you lose to like aggressive ground leaders if that happens. Anyways, cell block is down is the, the right thing to do. But then we're also spending a lot of resources to get rid of what? Did we get rid of anything else? No, we just healed. All right, so Leia is actually a little bit slow there, forced to play such a big card. Whoa, was he able to ignore Sentinel? I don't know how he did that, actually. I need to read that card. I'm gonna go try to read that card. I don't know how he ignores Sentinel. I forget what that card does. And we got a Death Trooper down, dealing two damage. That's really what we need here. Tank Town now can remove that uh, unit. Oh, Leah comes out. Leah is going to help a little bit. Let's see what that unit does. What's the name of that unit? Let me remember here. Sorry, guys. I'm going to find it right now. They are the Fighters for Freedom and they're saboteurs. And when you play a red ca a card, you may deal one damage to a base. Ignore Sentinels and defeat the uh, Defenders. Yeah, so he ignores Sentinels. He's a saboteur. Okay, now we played also... What is that? What is that? Oh, Zeb Aurelius. So what he just played is Zeb. If the Defender was defeated, you may deal 4 damage to a ground unit. Really nice unit there. 5-5. Five, five. Interesting. Never seen it before, actually. How is he able to play it for only... Three. Oh no, he did play for five. That was literally his play for the turn. So fi Fighters for Freedom set him up to be able to play the Zeb. The Zeb is huge here, guys. Because Zeb now, uh, if he attacks into anything, he KOs it and KOs the thing next to it. <laughs> it's huge. All right, we called out regional. Maybe he, he shuts down. Not sure what you would shut down. Maybe a black red. Maybe you uh, shut down um, some of their spells. I'm not sure actually what you would do. All right, there's continuous healing. Tank Town's already been used. Leia's going to attack. Or what is Leia going to do? Let's see what Rhea wants to do. Rhea just passes. Leia is not going to attack this turn, guys. Doesn't want to attack him to the Sentinel, does not want to force this Leia to go down in power or HP. Tank Town has been used, unfortunately. Wonder if Ardwell is just gonna put the cell block in soon. It's very interesting to see these decks that do not rely on any 
resourcing play the game because it just seems like they're so bad late game i just don't know it feels so weird because in the end no matter what you're gonna have to resource and then you're gonna have to play a card so you're always like really down on resources from your hand and from the board all right that rebel did insane insane work the rebel ozolo attacks kills the sentinel also kills the regional allowing leia to actually play the game Aiden is going to be coming out this turn too, I believe. So it's going to be a big turn. Okay, taking out the Ozolo with another Death Star Trooper. Now we've got a board of Death Star, Death Stone Troopers. What is Leia going to do here? I wish Leia had like a way to deal two damage <laughs> to two units. Like this is an amazing board for the Darth Vader to deal with, but not for Leia. Leia struggles against this. Leia does get the two experience from their uh, wing unit. Another sentinel down. Leia's not going to be liking this. Leia does not want to attack it to the sentinel. Play Sabine. Sabine doesn't make a difference here for us. Although we cannot attack it to Sabine. It just doesn't, doesn't change the game that much. Aiden is coming out here, guys. We took initiative. Aiden comes out. Now, the second... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I didn't come out. George, once he takes control of this board, he can actually take control of... Uh... Oh, we can actually attack Sabine. Okay, good, good. I didn't know we can attack Sabine. Now he can actually take control of space. This is really good. Uh, three cards in Leia's hand because he's going to have to resource one card, guys. So this is really big. Uh, Leia's, Leia's, Leia's losing resources, guys. Leia only has two two plays this turn, and the plays are going to be very tiny plays. They're not going to be mid-game plays. They're not going to be something big. Unless you can drop down Darth Vader right now. Let's see. Darth Vader is exactly what she needs. If she, she needs to take control of this uh, ground somehow. She has no way except Overwhelming Barrage or Darth Vader. I think the Overwhelming Barrage is about to come, guys. I think this is Overwhelming. OB. OB can no be. No. No, Tankaton is shooting. Oh my god, no. Tankaton should have shot the Sentinel, actually. I don't know what's happening here. Why didn't Tankaton shoot the Sentinel? Tankaton should have just shot the Sentinel. I don't even know what the hell is happening. Okay, Leia is losing control over board very, very fast. We dropped down a Gideon so we can start giving more experience tokens. So now... Overwhelming Barrage does not even do what we wanted to do anymore. Oh my god. There's... So that means Leia has no Overwhelming Barrage. That's what this is saying, right? Because there's no way Leia has an Overwhelming Barrage not using it. To me, it looks like that's an Overwhelming Barrage in hand. I'm surprised. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not Overwhelming. Yeah, maybe that's something else. Maybe that's uh, power-ups or something. Ready up, power up. All right, what are we gonna do here? Aiden, Aiden has so much work to do. Aiden, Aiden, hey, 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 why didn't we give plus one? Gideon's forgetting to give plus one. Oh my God, Gideon's forgetting to give plus ones. Finally, he remembered. <laughs> Wait a minute, he forgot? What just happened, man? Why didn't Gideon give plus ones? When an enemy unit is defeated. Oh, not. Oh, you have to defeat the enemy unit. I think what ha was happening, they were getting attacked. Uh, his units weren't getting defeated, not the enemy. Oh, okay, I read that wrong. Okay, now that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense now. All right, babies, let's see. Uh, Aiden is back on leader position. Leia is back in leader position. Same turn as well. Green is actually very strong. Leia does have a lot of resources, though, to deal with him. Has the cards she needs. Let's see. Let's see how they deal with this. Uh, unfortunately, Aiden has not been able to attack into Leia at all. So guys, we are going to quickly have a go get get a cup of water quickly. Go get a cup of water, drink, have some fun. 
We're gonna get back to the game in a minute, but we have to oh, we have to pay <laughs> our dues. <laughs> we have to watch the ads so we can watch these uh, games for free. I hope you guys support us because we are uh, very poor. So let's support them as well. Watching their ads, but really interesting uh, game, I think. Guys, put down your prediction. What's gonna happen right now? I think Aiden is a point in time right now where she's getting into the late game. She survived the early aggression. Leia's gonna slow down now, whereas Aiden's gonna pick, pick back up. And she's gonna be able to deal a lot of damage here. So let's see how this uh, pays all out, plays out. But I really believe Aiden is gonna have full control over the game. And we're gonna see how Aiden somehow just takes over the game super quickly. So let's jump right back in. And here we are. Aiden is gonna have a big turn here. This is a turn where Aiden can play. Let's let's think about it. With red, you could run for surrender, which just ruins the game for Leah. You can also run. Not a lot, actually. I think mid-game blue is not as b good as mid-game green. Because mid-game green, you can actually run a Darth Vader out, which is insane here. It would have taken so much control over the game. But right now, we cannot do that. So, so actually, we're going to have to wait. Thankfully, somebody called that out, that weird... Thing. We still can't see what the life is, but I think that's 11. But yeah, let's keep, let's keep going, guys. Um, Aiden, I, Aiden's, let's see, I, I'm actually not sure what Aiden's cards are. Let me keep an eye on the on his hand. Let's see here. He has an open fire. Is that an open fire? He has two power of the dark side. Okay. Wow, double attack with Leia, giving them raid plus one, raid plus one. Huge. What was that? That's like nine damage. Okay, we open fired here and now we can power the dark side. Oh no, we can't because we're going to play a unit. Ah! <laughs> and it's going to be the mother mono mom, which gives us another unit. Nice. Nice. We get the KS20. Huge play here for Leia, picking back up some of that, uh, some of those resources, and, and and getting a board down because now that 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 Uzol was gonna get just destroyed, guys, with that part of the dark side. Now now it just doesn't work. Okay, we're gonna power the, the dark side, the Momo. And Gideon gets one more plus one. Oh my god, Gideon is huge! Aiden is healing. And we take initiative and we pass. Let's see what Leia's got here. Oh, another Gideon. What just happened? Wait, 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 wait. Something just happened. Oh no, that, he picked up his hand. Okay. All right, we got part of the dark side. We got the stormtrooper. We got another Gideon. Stormtrooper is insane here. No, actually, yeah, he is actually. He's imperial. That Gideon is imperial, right? This is huge. Wow, we played down a fleet rebel that makes us stack with another rebel, dealing in another seven damage. This is so much damage. That Leia's putting down on board. But Aiden's been healing so much. Aiden at least healed 5 damage this game. Which is the only reason I believe they're still alive. Gideon has to attack. Takes the five, but then gives himself another plus one. I mean, Gideon's at eight. 
If you if you do two damage to Gideon, he dies. You just do two damage to Gideon, he dies. KS20 is down on board. Leia next turn can attack with those two rebels. This is big. Yeah, uh, Ardwell cannot keep anything on board here. He cannot let anything stay on board. He has to keep 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 getting rid of it because Leia can anytime activate herself and get two attacks in with two plus damage. It's just so big. And Gideon keeps getting the plus ones. It's so huge. Oh my god. Bro, the nice thing about Gideon is if he's sitting in the back and you have a nice board or you have a bunch of sentinels. Oh my god. He gets so big so quickly. This is crazy. Looks like we're not going to resource. What do we draw? Avenger? We don't have another part of the dark side, which is crazy. Or is that a takedown? That looks like a takedown. And we have a force choke. Oh my god. The removal that Aiden is running is insane. Have you seen anyone playing Palpatine? No. But we do know Palpatine is in top 16, so we're looking for him. Leia here would have done an insane amount of damage if she had another rebel but instead she's just gonna have to attack with the KS-20 because she doesn't want to activate herself. Right? Because she could have just attacked with two rebels. Another power of the dark side. How many power of the dark sides did we use? <laughs> God damn. Was that four? <laughs> Gideon gets another experience token. Oh my god. So right now Gideon is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Plus the 5. He's at 13 damage and and, uh, and defense. So it's, you still need to do 5 damage. Oh my god. Forced. Oh nice. He gets rid of the saboteur that was just played. But you do get to draw a card. Another plus one, now 14-14. Gideon is going to attack for game. Gideon can get another plus one, plus one. <laughs> no, he just does 14 damage. It goes from 3 to 17. It went from 3 HP, his base, to 17. Oh, nice. We're going to act like we can't do math, huh? That's 16, huh? 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Unless Gideon's 4, 4. Maybe that's why. Yeah, that makes sense. I thought Gideon's 5, 5. All right, let's see. That was insane. Leia has no response to this. Leia just takes initiative passes. Aiden is healing still. Goes down to 19. Leia cannot end the game. Leia just needs to drop two units down to end game, but she's never been able to do that. It's always only one unit on board left. Gideon is just so big. I cannot believe how big this Gideon is. This is this is proof that Red is just not the strongest control because they actually have no way to deal with this Gideon there's literally no way you could do some damage but you cannot you're not as strong as power of the dark side or as strong as for example uh uh freaking vanquish there is the palpatine removing the board huge play this game is over guys this game is over George is helping his friend Ardwell, giving him plus one experience. <laughs> Reminder. <laughs> there it is. Game over. Let's see if Leia can come back from this. That was insane. Aiden is just so strong against these aggro decks. Because they cannot get rid of Gideon. Because if, if we can shield Gideon or, or, or just keep something else on board. Because the, the same turn we play Gideon, we can play Aiden. Force the guy to deal with Aiden over the Gideon. And then we just are we just blow up. All right, let's see how we're going to start the game here. One moment, guys. 
as you can see, a rebel and a death storm trooper. What's up, brother? You gonna go get food? I'm a Siam. If you can go get me food, I'll pay you. I'll pay you five bucks. And if you can get me two plates, I'll pay you ten bucks. Wallah. I'm so hungry. Wallah, Hamut, man. I'm not understanding. Wallah, Johan. Wallah, if you do that, Wallah, I'll give you ten. Man, problem is I'm busy. I'm doing something. All right, let me know. Man, my friend's going to the mosque, but he won't bring me food unless I freaking excite him with the money. Anyways, let's see how this goes, guys. Uh, I guess the Death Storm Trooper just trades here. Aiden is healing really strong there. But the problem is that means Aiden never takes initiative. Now, I don't know if that's actually a bad thing because... Aiden's just needing... Aiden just needs to respond to whatever Leia is. So as, you can have the initiative, my brother, because I want to see what the hell you're doing anyway so I can respond to you. And there it is. You, if, 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 for example, Aiden had the initiative there, he couldn't have made that play. Aiden would have been forced to do something. So it's actually beneficial for Aiden to give the initiative. So this is something very interesting I think control decks need to study and learn. Is that you want to give your the initiative out to these aggressive decks so you know what to deal with. Because if you're the one with the initiative, it's just not going to help you a lot. Because there's not a lot you can do with the initiative. You would not have been able to respond to that black wing if you had the initiative. You would have had to have been forced to play something down. Or I guess with Aiden you can always keep healing. That's your initiative. But still, very interesting there. Keep an eye on that. Aiden is very interesting because you can keep, uh, you can take the initiative and, and still not play with it because you could just heal yourself. Aiden is really, really good. There it is. Once he responds to some of that space, recognizes now I have time for my Gideon. And potentially in one turn we pull out my other guy. Whatever he plays, I'm going to tank it down it out. I know, I know that he's just going to tank it down it out. Watch this, guys. He's going to tank it down this out. No, he just takes initiative. Very interesting. Well, he doesn't even heal. I, th I think that's a big mistake here. Yeah, look at that. Now you have no way to deal with this. You could tank down... You could tank down the Sabine. You could tank down the Rebel. Now you just have a big board against you. And if Leia attacks, you just attacks with one of these Rebels. It's just really not good for you, my brother. Also, you would have gained some, some power the Gideon. It's kind of weird that we didn't do that last and took initiative instead. And we could have healed as well. We didn't heal. This is really bad. We we did not do a lot of actions we could have done last turn. I think I think Aiden was freaking out. I think Aiden was just wanting to, the, the turn to end and to get to the Aiden. <laughs> as you guys can see, immediately pulls it out. But I think that was a mistake by Aiden. Now, Leah just has to focus that Gideon out of, out of the game. No. Instead, still... Still is relentless, just gonna try to end game by attacking the tank town. And Rebel forces Sabine to attack into the Aiden, killing the Sabine. But uh, leaving the, the shield, uh, getting rid of the shield and leaving two damage on. Because uh, Sabine was able to deal one damage to remove the shield. Gideon gains the plus one right now. So this is interesting. I think Sabine should have went for the Gideon over the Aidens. <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake, boys. Gideon can do anything he wants here. Keep getting the... He doesn't lose anymore. Even if he's attacking into things and taking damage. Doesn't hurt him because he's gaining the experience. And also he's healing now. Oh my god. And Gideon can give the, the, the experience anywhere. So he doesn't have... He's not forced to give it to himself. Giving it to the Aiden is huge here. Now Aiden is at a 5-5. Leia, Leia has to deal with, these, with this board. There it is. Gideon is done. Thank God we used the tank town finally. For some reason our brother here just it doesn't mark that he used his unit or his base. He just calls it out and never, <laughs> never marks it. Never does anything, George. From George's side. But we'll remember it <laughs> to the rest of the game. <laughs> 
All right, guys. Apparently, we should be having a much better round here as Aiden than the Leia. But let's see. We did not use our tank town yet. Now, Leia is susceptible to be removed with the tank town. Oh, tank town can remove this as well. It's a 4 3. Tank town. Tank town should be used, right? Did we forget to use tank town? I'm not sure. No, that's part of the dark side. He could have used. Picked in and chosen which unit he wanted to get rid of. Oh no, that was actually a a takedown or a vanquish. So you actually wait. What? What was that? Or was that making an opening? That was making an opening. Okay, that was making an opening. That's why he healed. Wow, taking four damage, huge there, guys. Wow, throwing out the whole hand. <laughs> It just wants to see something new, man. Doesn't care. That's actually interesting because usually we see people just setting up their top deck. This guy is like, F that. I don't like anything there. Just get rid of it. Did Aiden not attack? I don't think Aiden attacked last turn. First, oh, that's why I didn't attack because he wanted to use... Uh, the, the ability first thing he wanted to use power of the dark side first thing Okay, the mother here can look at the top pick up something That KS 20 is very very tempting there it is KS 20 is gonna be Played down is that what the card does holy shit. Oh, no, no. I was like what you play the KS 20. I didn't know that <laughs> Thank God there, yeah, okay, now you play the KS-20. Still a strong card, it allows him, you know, doesn't waste up too much resources. Finally use the tank down on the mother? Are you kidding me? Is the mother on attack or only on play? The mother is only on play. Ah, that's weird. That's really weird. Let's see how he got rid of the KS-20. I didn't even, even see. Oh, he just attacks into it, killing his Aiden. Wow. Very smart guy. <laughs> oh, my God. One card in hand. No damage on the tank town. Leia is so much healthier than the Aiden and has more cards in hand. I think it's looking really bad for Aiden right now, guys. How are we going to respond to this as Aiden? What is Aiden going to do here? Aiden's healed a lot, though, honestly. If Aiden did not heal, like, Aiden has done at least seven healings. Because not only is she healing with her own leader ability, when she pulled herself out, she did at least three heals or four. Because there was at least three to four units from the Sabine all the way down. And he, she's seen every sing, single unit till the KS-20. So she actually healed four times. So that's the only thing keeping this, Sabine, uh, this Aiden in the game is all that healing. She at least healed seven times this whole game, which is huge, guys. Aiden is so strong against these aggressive deck. Oh my god, Leia switches into the air. Oh no, this is big. We need to deal with that. We need a takedown. How are we going to deal with the air? Dooku! Dooku's huge! That's insane. That's so good. A lot of people don't believe in the Dooku, but that was so good. We got so lucky. If the guy had a four, uh, 5 HP, we couldn't have dealt with it. We were so lucky there because we were about to lose game. I'm not lying, guys. We were about to lose game. That's huge play there. Huge. Pass turn. Yep, exactly. Oh, my God. The Dooku saved our life. And we get some ground units. All right. So if we can also... I think I think what Leia is going to try to do here is just go to space. Because she just needs like five more HP. Yeah, Leia just needs five more damage, I think, uh, guys. I think Leia's gonna switch into attacking to space, and then she's going to fail. Because I think Aiden has everything she needs 
to deal with that. I think as long as you get one more Vanquish, one, one takedown, or one power of the dark side, you have full control over that space. And, and honestly, Leia's space is just so weak. That's just not enough. That unit is so weak. Let's see how uh, how Leia wants to respond to this. I think Leia needs a seven, uh, seven a U wing reinforcement, or Leia needs to like exhaust the board. There's no real board actually. I don't know what Leia needs to do, but Leia needs to figure it out now, or Leia is gonna be struggling. Okay, guys, the ad's about to be finished. Ten. Less than 10 seconds guys, we're jumping right in, get ready, this is about to be the finale guys, let's jump in. Alright, Death Trooper takes some uh, 3 HPs down, 6 damage onto the board, another Mandalorian, that's exactly what we assumed guys, he's going to try to take space control, if we can take, take that out right now. A takedown, ooh, interceptors! This is the issue, guys. You cannot take space control over our lovely red interceptors. Red has some of the strongest space units. Do not think you can try to take that space over. You cannot. It's just too good. Wow. Looks like Ardwell's covered all his bases. And the healing is keeping him alive. Now seven. Uh, now he can attack into that unit, uh, clear it out. Big trade there. We lose the Dooku, but we have an amazing board. We have good board control. We're going to survive. I think we're going to make it with all these Sentinels. I think we could also still drop one more Sentinel in space. Blue red space control is so big, guys. Don't even try to mess with it. It has full authority over you. All these interceptors and all these sentinels are so strong. All right, there it is. What is that? What is that play? Let me see. I'm gonna go read into it. I'll figure out what he just played. I think it's force lightning to the unit, loses all abilities. You control a force, pay any number of resources and deal to them to the chosen unit. So I'm not sure what he did. Or he could have done something else. Let me look for it. No, I think that's all he did. So he removed Sentinel. Basically what he did was he removed Sentinel. But he didn't have a force unit to kill the unit. So he just removed the power of Sentinel here. Because he's trying to end game. Really smart actually play. Actually, really smart play here. Interceptor has to deal with the raid immediately. Wait, 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 wait. Raid dies. How is raid plus one? What is he doing? Sentinel attacks, and then we heal one. Aiden has only survived with all that healing. Aiden would have never survived without that healing. That's crazy, guys. Is this live? No, no. We're actually looking at the uh, the full, the best games from the from the big tournament in London. So this is not live. We went to their website though. We went to Twitch. Aiden has full control over the game right now. Uh, we played Uzulu down. Uzulu is not enough, guys. I'm going to show you exactly what he just played down. Strong unit can deal extra damage when it kills a unit by dealing four more damage But it's just not gonna be enough guys as you can see immediately controlled was that power of the dark side. Yes No, actually that was a takedown. Yeah, takedown was enough to remove it five damage Absolutely big Ardwell has full control here one game one and he's about to win game two even though he's like at 19 HP He's like so close to falling down another black wing that black wing is not enough we heal again with the Aiden we're gonna have to take initiative Aiden's gonna deal so much damage this turn two no it's gonna be three four five six seven eight nine nine damage and we just flipped the game completely over 
Leia has lost full control over our our base. She had the control over the base. She tried to switch control from ground when she started losing ground control. She tried to switch into the space, but we immediately responded. Look at that response. Look at those space units. They're insane. And now we have full control over the game. Leia has completely lost. Unless Leia can figure out a way to play down the unit and immediately attack with it the same turn she just played it. There's no way Aiden's gonna leave anything staying on board. Oh my god, we actually left something on board. This is really bad. I think what I think what we're doing is we're just trying to end game. One more attack, we end the game here. And there it is. There it is. The four damage is not enough. Aiden healed enough to stay alive. So even if we were able to deal four damage with the power of the, the, the rebels, it was just not enough. He's at 19 or 18. It just was not enough, guys. Damn it. That was so close. And then we end game with Aiden with one more attack. It's the guys at 24. Huge there, guys. Really good game. Really amazing. Aiden is proving to you guys the power of it against these uh, aggressive decks. Aiden is just doing too much healing. Uh, if you're worried about space, just jumps into space so fast. It's so quickly, so so versatile. Can jump into space anytime she wants to, and still take so much control. And this is a really interesting, cool idea to go with the tank town. Allows you to remove anything you want, anytime you want. Sabines, interceptors, wings, um. Uh, big big units that you've uh, withered down with death troopers really interesting idea guys I'm really liking it anytime you want you can just pop out a tank town pop out the board Really interesting interested in your opinions guys. What do you think about that deck? What do you think about this Aiden deck? Uh, leave it down below But yeah guys, uh, let's move on to the 